Hey Scorpio, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your general love and life reading. So we're going to go ahead and see here what energies are coming in for you, Scorpio. What are you moving through? What's coming towards you? So anything at all. This could be, um, again, just about you, what you're going through. It could be about love, what's coming in for you. And we're just going to go with it intuitively here and see what comes up. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, What's going on? I just heard fish in the sea. So some of you may be moving into a time where you want to explore something. As I shuffle that, we do have here clear, cancel, and release. We have vulnerability and freedom. So there could be something here. We'll see if this connects with the reading, but um, some of you, this is about you kind of exploring new things about yourself. You may even want to date. That could be why I heard fish in the sea. Or if not, you're just kind of wanting to clear your energy field is what it feels like. And actually at the bottom of this deck, we have a very powerful, we have the strength and we have the sun. So there's a feeling here of really um, taking on a very self-empowered approach here. So some of you are going to be maybe even taking on a more masculine approach if you are a feminine. Um, and it feels like a very positive sort of um, moving into a place of inner freedom and inner shine here. So let's see what else comes up. So spirit, what messages, please? I'm also seeing a vision of violet color, like purple violet. So a lot of you also will be further connected to your intuition, to spirit. Um, you could be learning something new, expanding your horizons here when it comes to, um, yeah, there's a lot of spiritual support around you. There's a lot of messages that want to come through already. We have cut the cords. So some of you also, yeah, here's this violet I was getting to. The violet flame could be a very important um meditation for you right now but I feel like there's a sense of you being protected from something by spirit or you're being kind of guided right now into some form of um, like expansion and a lot of this has to do with you it doesn't mean you have to be cutting cores necessarily but you're taking your power back here is what I'm seeing we have the wheel of fortune beneath this too so it's almost like there's been a feeling of you getting back on track here where you're going to be moving into that. So let's see, <laughs> see if the cards come out now. Anything else for Scorpio? This is for the collective Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So just take what resonates. It's not going to be for all of you. Scorpio. What's going on here for Scorpios in the next few weeks? This is for the collective. Anyone tuning in, anyone watching the reading? Life, love, what's coming in for Scorpio? We have raise your vibration. And we have learning experience. So this is beautiful. I do feel like with raise your vibration, um, and this lantern here too, I do feel like you're kind of moving through a time, Scorpio, to where you may have to find the answers to certain things. You may be trying to seek the answers to certain things here. Um, and it's very much about a learning experience for you. It's sort of like you're moving through with the sun here too and the razor vibration. You are going to be, um, as I said, it's kind of like you're coming into more of an inner shine with this here too, solar plexus energy. And it feels more like you are raising your vibration though. Some of you are in the process of still, you know, maybe having to do certain things that are going to help you to raise your vibration. Um, but I do feel like you're kind of on this journey of reflection. You're on this journey here of really um, elevating yourself and evolving. And it could be that you're seeking some form of answer, you know, in the process. It's like you have to turn within, you have to go within to find this here. We have signs and reminders at the bottom. So you could be seeing some signs. You could be seeing some um, synchronicities around you. And it's sort of like this is here to help you to raise your vibration. Maybe you're getting some synchronicities that are um, telling you that you're on track or helping you that you're on track here. Um, and I feel like this is also like you're in it. You're very much on a spiritual path and journey right now, Scorpio. And I feel like you... Are having to kind of make your way through this with the wheel of fortune it's like you're kind of getting back on track here is what i keep getting but you're finding you're finding your way back to yourself here 
So what else do we have for Scorpio? For the collective. We have your dreams need a practical plan. We do have nothing will come out of the situation. Scorpio. We have don't let pride get in your, get in your way. And we have a new start is coming. So definitely there is a new start coming. I do feel here for some of you. Nothing will come out of the situation. So we'll confirm a little bit further what this is, but it does kind of feel like you are moving through a time where with raise your vibration, you may need to make some adjustments, make some changes here within your life right now. Um, because maybe there's something that's just not working. Uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily a situation. I'm getting for some of you, it is a situation or a relationship or something like that here, but it also feels more like you kind of being in maybe a void here. Um, so it's like, you've had to kind of reset, you've had to reprioritize here and you are maybe wanting to manifest something in terms of creation with Taurus here coming through too, maybe grounding something into reality, wanting to manifest something practical. It could be a new job. It could be a new career. Um, it also could be too, that there's something that you just want to put your focus into. And that's what I'm getting with raise your vibration. You are on track to this year with this masculine kind of sun energy. And it's all about the self too. We do have, don't let pride get in your way. And we have a new start. So you do have a new start coming here. And I think it could be something too that's going to be a learning experience for you. So some of you are moving into something brand new. Um, and it's sort of like you are being, you're preparing for this. You may have some form of, like there may be a little bit of pride that's going to stand in your way here. Uh, sometimes Scorpio energies can be prideful um, and stubborn here too. Or maybe it's something to do with you feeling like you are... Yeah, it's like you have to really trust the mystery right now. You have to trust this new start. Maybe you're just kind of resisting it here. Let's see, any other messages for Scorpio? I am seeing a crow as well. Scorpio, what messages do we have here for you? Yeah, open to infinite possibility. Like you really have, wow, the abundant universe will provide. And we have here open to infinite possibility. So you're definitely, definitely moving into a place of spirit is wanting to gift you with abundance here. We have Taurus and we have the Buffalo. So I feel like a lot of this is going to be grounded. This is going to be things that are going to manifest for you in terms of a new, like I said, a new job, a new career, or just something that's going to be more tangible for you here. Um, and I do feel like there's a feeling though of you having to trust this with the don't let pride get in your way. And that could be exactly what this is about with the Buffalo too. You have to really trust that the universe is trying to provide for you. They're trying to assist you, but you also have to raise your vibration to meet that level is what I'm getting. So if you find yourself in a situation that's not meeting your expectations, I do feel like you are needing to surrender to the learning experience and kind of open up to a new start, a new journey of some sort here. So spirit is definitely going to be gifting you with a lot of 3D abundance. I feel like they're trying to um, assist you here with this. Um, let's see here, Scorpio. Yeah, set healthy boundaries. So I want to confirm a little bit more about that in a minute because I feel like with this armadillo and the, the yeah, we have learned from the past. We have the elephant coming through and we have turkey. Give with gratitude and grace. So I feel like... You know, there's something about being grateful for what's to come. And I don't know if maybe some of you are feeling, I don't know if it's ungratefulness or if it's a feeling of you being resistant to this here, but there is something like that. I feel, um, with learn from the past, you're kind of like, you need to trust here in a new beginning, a new start is coming for you. And we do have set healthy boundaries. So I feel like this is going to require you to have some form of level of boundary when it comes to not bringing the past into the future whatever that could mean here for you. 
Um, and the strength card can also be kind of like that too with the sun. So there's a feeling here of you... Yeah, being very generous, moving into a more generous time, and that's going to manifest back to you. Let's see here. We'll look at love in a second, but I just want to get a few more cards here. So be very open right now to the possibilities that are coming in for you. Scorpio. So any other messages for Scorpio? That's too, way too many. Let's confirm this here. Raise your vibration for Scorpio. We have the Four of Swords. Rest and rejuvenate. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Eight of Cups beneath that. We have the Balance in Reverse. And we have the Heart Chakra here. So it's kind of like the message I was getting earlier before I recorded the reading. To, or not before, but in the beginning of the reading. Um, when I had mentioned that I was hearing the, the Violet and the Cut the Cords and something else here too. I feel like you're really evolving a lot, Scorpio, when it comes to finding more balance, finding more, yeah, finding more balance with the heart chakra here and the eight of cups and the nine of cups too. There's a lot of green, a lot of you are kind of like you're, you've kind of been in this place of resting, of rejuvenating, of healing. And during this time, it's like you have had to go with them. And that's what I'm getting with the learning experience too. And what you're moving towards, I feel, is you're, you're, you're growing from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. You're, you're learning what it is that you want. You're learning what it is that you need. Learn from the past. So for most of you, this has been a lesson in, in your heart, in your... I'm getting with this strength strength card too. It's been in this in a lesson in you like controlling your how should I say like kind of controlling your desires but also controlling like maintaining a level of composure, maintaining a level of I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but I guess composure, a level of inner strength. Because your intuition here in this deck too, you you have you're you are in control here of this tiger or your tiger, you know. So it's like you have control over what is right for you, and it's like you're mastering a level of you moving into self control. Um, and so this is also what I feel with the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups too. You are really wanting to really find your wish fulfillment. And you've had to grow with this learning experience within your heart chakra. And you are going to be really coming out as a very strong individual, I feel. In a way that you are able to give, you're able to receive, you're able to like have a solid sense of self, if that makes sense, because that's what I'm getting here. And because of this here, you do have a new start coming that's very much been pending for you or very much been kind of on hold. Um, and you've had to really learn through this experience with this balance in reverse, the justice reverse. I kind of feel like this is almost like the same man here, you know, in a way, or not the same man, but like the same kind of energy to where you've had to really raise your vibration. You've had to really come into balance. Um, for some of you, this is also about, um, you know, there could be somebody else connected to you as well who has had to go through this lesson. Let's see here what else comes up for you in love. Or what's, let's see in general, what comes up for you in love here. So know that you're prepared for this. It's like spirit has been preparing you for this. And you're about to really have this, the sun and the new start. And because you're ready for it, you're ready to approach things differently. So it is, though, sometimes with the strength, strength card, too. I don't know why I can't talk. And the sun, we have strong Leo energy, and we also have Leo here, too. Don't let pride get in your way. So maybe you are Leo, or you, I mean, you have Leo in your chart, or you could be dealing with the Leo. But it's also something about having to kind of learn from your, your previous mistakes or your previous energies, maybe in a sense that you are softening the heart a little bit, or you're kind of coming into more of a surrender of the heart. 
Um, so there's a, there's a balance between not being overly harsh that you're pushing people away and also not being too giving or understanding. Not like I feel like you usually have some pretty solid boundaries, but I do think that there is something here about having to kind of soften the edges a little bit and to surrender to this new journey that's coming in for you here. And it seems like during this time, you've really had to raise your vibration. So what's going on for Scorpios in love? Can we confirm here in love? Like let go of control is what I'm hearing as well. What's going on for Scorpios in love? Okay, we have talking, interested, conversing, awaited, message arrives, text, call, email. We have here the wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. We have the mirror and we have the hand of cards here. And I am seeing here we have photograph with karmic relationship beneath this. I'm going to confirm here. What's going on for Scorpio in love? in love justice there it is and that card that actually came through really strongly in leo's reading and we do have a lot of leo here so definitely if you have leo in your chart somewhere or if you're connected to a leo you may want to check that reading out so we have here the yeah and this came through for leo too the ace of cups wow we have the ace of cups we have the lovers we have the justice and we have the eight of coins reversed um, so I do feel like with the justice card to come through first, this is definitely going to be, you're going to receive justice here. And it came right on top here of this talking. So it could come in the form of some form of communication. It could come in the form of, um, yeah, some form of message or communication here. Um, uh, but it feels like it's sort of. It, like I said earlier too, it's like you're really coming into a sense of completion within your own journey and within how you approach situations too. So that makes sense with the um, other cards we had too. The What was it up here? The uh, learning experience. Yeah. So it's like you've really had to go through a learning experience. And some of you, it's it's been with a karmic partner from your past or somebody that you just had a lot of karmic ties with here. We have resentment, lessons, triggers, turmoil. So this is going to be justice in your favor here, um, Scorpio. And I feel like it's going to come in the form of not just like practical justice, but also justice in terms of how you handle it and how you feel and sort of the tables turning in a sense for you to find, um, again, the sun, the strength, like inner strength, inner peace. And it's going to come here in the form of um, the time is right for these scales to be balanced. Um, I do feel like with this wedding rings here and the eight of coins reversed, this could be about a connection that you, because clearly we have here, I'm getting two different things. Some of you, this is about justice kind of turning in a way where you are going to be able to come together with somebody who's going to be more um, of your equal with the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, but they kind of flew out like sideways because I feel like it's something that is like emerging for you with the learning experience too. This could be something entirely new or it's just going to be like a new way of opening the heart here. Um, and I feel like maybe in the past, you know, this could have been, I do feel like there's been a lot of triggers here with the mirror too. So this is why it's coming up. Either you've had a specific relationship that has been very triggering for you and this is kind of what you're healing from, you're evolving from. Again, you're coming into justice on an internal level. You are going to be meeting somebody here with the Ace of Cups and the Lovers to come together in a way where you're actually uniting your heart with somebody here. But 
but we have the hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic. So there is something about having to take a chance here. Scorpio. And I also feel too, for those of you who are connected to somebody else here, um, with this learning experience and the nine of cups and the ace of cups and the lovers, it's almost like it's shown you and possibly even someone connected to you what they really want. Look at all this green and the ace of cups here too. It's really shown somebody who they are and what they want. And that could be somebody else I'm getting too. And if that's the case, this person may have been in another situation. They may have been in a karmic situation where they're feeling like nothing is going to come out of the situation. Nothing is going to grow from this. And now they kind of want to fulfill um, a stronger, stronger level of self here within the masculine energy, especially if they are a masculine, but there's an element of pride here that's getting in the way to where one or both of you are kind of resisting this change or this new beginning that could come through. It's very much of a hand of, of the cards. It's very much in fate. It's very much like a faded change and it's going to be a risky thing because maybe it's going to require going into this with a blind approach is what I'm getting here. So take which, which side kind of resonates with you because I'm getting both of those storylines or maybe even both. So let's see what it's about for Scorpio. Can we confirm the justice card for Scorpio? Yeah, so this was just at the bottom. One day it will happen. A very important decision awaits. So this is what I feel too with the talking. It could be that, there, yeah, the justice card can definitely be about, a, you know, a decision coming from a very logical um, or just like what's best for everybody involved. So I do feel like there's going to be something here that's going to require judge, or judgment or justice. It's going to require doing the right thing, doing a, doing something from a place of integrity It could be for some of you, a very small portion of you maybe, or just some of you, that there may be a, a marriage involved here, wedding rings, the eight of coins reverse, and the justice reverse, karmic relationship, and then we have the lovers and the six, and the, um, I don't know why I said six of cups, and the ace of cups. So for some of you, if that does resonate, it's almost like you've been waiting for this justice or you've been waiting for this decision to be made. Maybe you've even been waiting for somebody to leave something else. Um, and this is what I feel there's going to have to be a decision made to do what's right for everyone involved. And it's probably going to come in the form of some message or communication because both people here, if this is your story, have grown quite a bit and have really, like I said, with the learning experience and the sun, um, and raise your vibration have really wanted to connect more deeply to um you know what could be here with the lovers and the ace of cups and it's a new start in this relationship if that story resonates with you but for others of you this is just you and you're having to make a call here in your own situation on let's see what else we have here let's look at this Ace of Cups and the Lovers for Scorpio. Yeah, we have let go of an old love story. And it really wanted to fly out in reverse right on top of this too. And here we have learn from a recent mistake. We have learning too, the word learning. And we have spirit is working on your behalf. So I want to get a few more clarifications for the lovers and the ace of cups here. Because it's definitely a new start in love. I'm just not sure if it's the same love. It's going to depend here on what you are looking for as well. What is this ace of cups and the lovers for Scorpio? Yeah, so I feel like this could definitely be, yeah, there's been a lot of feelings here of not being worthy. I'm getting a couple different things, but we have not enough and we have heartbroken. And we do have here the, you know, like I mentioned with the strength card to raise your vibration, the heart chakra 
um, finding fulfillment here with this eight of cups, the nine of cups. So some of you, maybe you've been kind of in a place where you've been feeling low, you've been feeling um, maybe heartbroken, or you've been feeling like, you know, things have not been working out the way that you wanted them to. You may have been heartbroken from a previous connection here. Um, and you are going to be kind of renewing your faith in love, in a sense, renewing your faith here in what you're looking for in terms of your values, in terms of what kind of relationship that you want. Um, and this has very much been a learning experience for you that you're coming out of into a new beginning. And it feels like a, I'm kind of getting for some of you, this is um, somebody you don't know yet or something that's like a potential. And you are going to be healing your heart from a feeling of unworthiness in order to, with the nine of cups here, to really find the, the, again, that kind of inner strength within you to raise your vibration. And because you're doing that, you're actually aligning here. What you're seeking is seeking you. So you are, because, because you're merging into that abundance here, you're coming into abundance. You're coming into where you're supposed to be. We have the mask here. So this could be wearing a, a false self mask. Um, it could be you, it could be the other person. I kind of get that a little bit with the sun here too. And so Spirit is working on your behalf. I do feel like Spirit's trying to bring this in for you. With the lovers, this is a very divine connection that's trying to come in for you. That's going to make you feel very whole, make you feel very good. It's it's meant you like you're meant to be happy. You're meant to be abundant. You're meant to be loved. Um, and I do feel for, for some of you, though, you kind of have to let go of an old storyline, an old mentality, an old pattern. If it resonates with you, it could be an entire relationship that has really knocked you down. It's really made you feel heartbroken. It's made you feel not enough. And just as you heal your heart and just as you come into alignment with your true self and your fulfillment, this is when you're going to meet this individual and when you're going to have like this abundance of water, like I'm getting the nine of cups here too, and the gratitude and the abundance, you're going to be very happy and overflowing here with love. And I feel like spirit's trying to bring this in for you here. Um, but some of you do need to kind of surrender to the journey. You need to surrender to the learning experience that you're confronted with here, because if you're holding on too tightly to an old paradigm, or if you're holding on too tightly to an old relationship um, in your heart chakra, it's actually preventing you from meeting the right person, or it's preventing you from just coming into alignment with anybody for that matter. So you're really being asked right now to raise your vibration. So work with the violet flame, since I did see that earlier too. Um, so let's get a final outcome here and then we'll get some final advice for you. The outcome for Scorpios. Is that the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse again. So yeah, that's the card that was at the bottom too. The, for me, the Wheel of Fortune and the Star is, wow, the Two of Cups here too and the Judgment. So lots of major cards for you. This for me is, is Fate. This combination here, the star, the two of cups and the wheel of fortune is fate and the lovers. But what I, like I just mentioned that I feel like there's two different kind of groups of you here. So you need to kind of align or allow this to align for you because it is going to align for you. It's just sort of like with the star and the wheel of fortune to be both blocked or in reverse. It's going to depend on either a decision that's going to be made here or you continuing on your learning experience. And this is going to come in for you when you least expect it is what I'm getting. Because what you're seeking is seeking you. Let's confirm this. Yep. A new love is coming in for you. We have your energy is drained, refuel. So that's what I'm, I feel like that's what I'm saying here. It's really going to be important for you to refuel your own cup of love, your own energy right now, because this is when you're going to align to this situation, however that could fit for you. So just know that something is on the horizon for you. You're recovering right now. Um, so that's very much the, 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 that's very much the message for you, Scorpio. Lots of heart chakra, so it could be really beneficial right now to work with your heart chakra, open your heart chakra to allow this new love into you or whatever love it is, allow it in because you are surrendering to the journey. You're being asked to be yourself, to really surrender here and try not to get hung up or caught up on the old storylines here because what's coming in for you is going to be very beautiful. Um, 
and purple violet flame is what I'm getting as well. We have forgiveness and we have a year from now. So when this card comes up, it doesn't necessarily have to be like an entire year because it sounds like a long time. Um, but it could be something about 10 is coming through too. It could be October. It could be 10 months, but I do feel like there, this, this is, this is a distant kind of thing. And I think the reason it's distant is because your heart is still not healed. Okay. Or you have not let go of something else, or maybe that situation is just being balanced right now with the balance in reverse. So it's very much about, um, regardless of what happens on the journey for you, it, it's really about being open to any infinite possibility that's coming in for you, being open that the universe will provide what you need. And this love I feel is coming in for you. That's very destined for you, but it could be up to a year from now. Scorpio, we have choose a new direction. Any final messages for Scorpio? We have admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly des desire. Yeah, so you are going to have to be very honest with yourself right now. Um, are, how are you raising your vibration? What is best for you? We have support. And we have recovery again. So yeah, this is the time of recovery for you. This is not the right time at the moment. It's, 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 um, it's more of like a, a feeling of you being supported right now and being given these signs. Yeah, ease and grace is beneath this too being given signs that this is on its way towards you. And you'll probably know what that is. You'll feel it. You'll, f you'll sense the shift here within you. Um, but right now you need to put your priorities into yourself. You need to focus elsewhere because again, it's like what's seeking you, what you're seeking is seeking you, but you have to kind of balance the scales a little bit and to surrender to the learning experience that this is providing you. Okay. So I really hope this could help you Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day. And I'll talk to you next time. Much love.